So today was a really exciting morning at the Ukatula Conservation Center. For the first time, we evaluated five male cheetahs. So cheetah breeding season is coming up and we needed to assist Willy and uh, the rest of the crew on which males to select, which would be the optimum breeders in the facility. So it's been really interesting. We had some researchers from the outside coming in as well applying nutritional research as well. So it was really exciting. We collected five beautiful ejaculates. Um, so one ejaculate was frozen, it's in the bank. So we're very happy with the results. Um, we've been sponsored some amazing equipment that just made today so much easier and quicker. From a very fancy diagnostic table to blood um, analyzers to big fancy centrifuges, it's just fun and fantastic. It's really nice working in a really well equipped facility. So cheetahs in captivity seem to suffer from an unusual disease of the gastrointestinal tract of the stomach, the lining of the stomach. They get an inflammation of the stomach, uh, what we call gastritis. Um, it's an unusual form of gastritis that is not really similar to any other gastritis and certainly not similar to the gastritis that humans get or the peptic ulcers that we get. And, and there are many, many theories about why they get these problems. One of them being stress, in captivity they reckon that some of them are stressed. Some of my PhD work has focused on that as well and I believe that the primary problem is the diet that they're being fed. It's a complex biochemical issue but basically they, we believe that they're getting too much protein and muscle meat in the diet and that this has a, an effect on um, some of the hormone levels because they, the bacteria in the gut ferment these proteins, uh, the amino acids, and turn them into toxic compounds which the E. cheetah absorbs and those toxins we believe actually suppress certain hormones like dopamine and the dopamine in the gut and in the kidneys um, it's important for the health of those two organs and um, so currently we've got other ongoing research projects looking at um, a link between a dopamine deficiency and chronic gastritis in cheetahs primarily because they're getting this unusual diet they don't in the wild they would normally eat a whole carcass which would include the skin and the bones and the cartilage and the internal organs and the total amount of and as well as fat the total amount of muscle meat that they ingest from game um, species is relatively small and so there's less of these phenolic compounds well that's what we believe at least for the moment but we've still got quite a lot of research to try and prove that theory that needs to be done and um, so it'll take a few years still before we get there but at least we've got a lead now we think we know what, what what's happening in these cheetahs. Well I'm very pleased how things went today we did evaluation of uh, five male cheetahs and uh, excellent samples were gathered and analyzed and we even got enough samples to be able to bank in our semen bank and this information that we've gathered today will go into our database and uh, will be available for researchers in the future as well. We're also extremely happy with the fantastic equipment that we've been able to acquire. Recent addition has been the procedure table which was delivered this morning just in time for all the procedures and we are so thankful to the suppliers and to the interested parties that were here today from the University of Pretoria, from Honest de Poort and from other interested parties that were able to attend. And this is what makes it all come together for us, is the interest in uh, conserving these beautiful animals and what people are willing to do to be able to achieve this goal.